Good day everyone. Today I'm here to present on the topic of nuclear power, risk, challenge, and future development. This is a topic of utmost importance in today's world, particularly in the aftermath of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power accidents. As many of you may recall, on March 11, 2011, in Japan, they experienced a catastrophic earthquake and tsunami that caused widespread destruction and loss of life. Among many consequences of this disaster was the meltdown of several reactors in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In recent news, the Japan is confirmed that will be released millions time millions ton of wastewater into the sea. The Japanese office also claimed that the wastewater will be traded to remove most of the radioactive materials. But they are still contain a trinium. This is a natural occurring radioactive form of hydrogen that is really hard to separate technically with water. Although they emphasize that water will host will not pose any frightened to human health on mirrors and from metals. This also has sparked the heated controversy and anger all around the world, especially in the local fishing communities and the countries in the regions. This is fan demonstrated the serious risk associated with nuclear power plant and also highlighted the need of us to understand this needs, this, this risk as well as the challenge opportunities associated with nuclear power generations. To better, to better understanding of this issue, let's look at the history of nuclear power. Nuclear power first, nuclear first plant is built in 1950s, and by the 1980s, nuclear power plant is built all around the world. Nowadays, there are 400, more than 400 operating nuclear power plants all around the world. They provided about 10% of the energy in the world. And with the going mid capacity uh, of the electricity, there are many countries is, is considering to expand these uh, nuclear power plants in their countries to generate more electricity. So, how exactly uh, the nuclear power plant works? Simple put, nuclear power plants uh, generate electricity by harnessing the energy released during nuclear fission. And in this process, um, there is a process about the, the large nucleus split into two small nuclei. And in the nuclear power plants, Uranium-255 is most used as the fuel, but this is radioactive. During this process, some of the mass will be converted into energy by the mass-energy relationship, E equal to mc squared. In the nuclear power plant, there are tremendous uh, fissions will happen in the reactor, and this will release uh, a huge, a large amount of energy, and that could uh, heat the water and produce the steam, and then the steam will enter the turbine, and then drive the turbine to generate electricity. As we can see, nuclear power has the potentials to be a significant source of clean and reliable energy, but it, but it also presents the serious risk and challenge. In the rest of the presentations, um, we will look at um, the development of uh, the nuclear power, and then we will see uh, the challenges and also investigating the futures of nuclear power. And finally, we will give a few recommendations to us uh, different aspects. And now. Thank you for your attention. I will pass to Marco for the next part. Thank you, Sam. Um, 
About the potential risk of using the nuclear power, uh, there is four major risks about we should take care when we are considering nuclear power, which includes the risk of accidents, the terrorism, the proliferation, and the cost. The most considerable co uh, risk is the is apparently the accidents. They can release radioactive materials into the environment and causing lasting damage to both environments and also to the human health. Even though accidents are rare, but the impact can be severe to us. As seen in the uh, Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine, which forced 10,000 people to evacuate and 100 citizens' health, the average the average dose of uh, the average collective dose in Ukraine has been raised to 600k person as we after the accidents, harming the citizen health as well as making the Chernobyl is not longer livable. Leading to my next point, after these two major disasters, which is the Chernobyl as I mentioned and the Fukushima accident. The importance of the nuclear facility is shown to the terrorists and also to the world, which terrorists may value the power plant as a target, and they could target on the power plants and to cause a major release of radioactive substance in, into the environment. Recent panic of the public and causing the place is not livable for humans anymore. The potential for nuclear terrorism is significant concern for many countries worldwide. And in recent years, countries around the globe is, start, is starting to improve their, uh, the security of their nuclear facilities. Um, for example, in 2010, uh, uh, Iran nuclear power plant has been cyber attacked by USA computer virus called Snusnet and switched off the infrastructure safety device in nuclear disaster. Um, likewise, in 2007, the Israel Silver War uh, has destroyed the Syria power plant, but fortunately, the reactor was not in operation anymore. This example uh, are, can be demonstrated the security of the power plants is a great risk that the world is focusing on the uh, on the nuclear industry next up uh, apparently using the te nuclear technology for the power generation can also increase the risk of the proliferation of nuclear weapons uh, the same materials and the same facility used to generate power can be used to produce nuclear weapons and the presence of the nuclear technology can make it easier for countries to develop nuclear weapons. But typically speaking, um, the nuclear weapons need the uranium to enrich it about like 90%. But it is possible to make a nuclear bomb with only like low, uh, with high enriched uh, uranium like for 20% only. So if any country own their uh, nuclear weapons without agreement from the UN or other nuclear weapon states, the, the risk of the nuclear war will be prominent. Um, for example, the uranium recently enriched to the, uh, enriched to the uranium particles to about 84%, which is nearing the weapon graded use, as I mentioned. Um, the country is now getting targeted as a danger in Western countries like USA. Um, also in uh, North Korea, uh, they are actively to try to develop their nuclear weapons, which uh, just sparkled up the in international sensation and its pressure. As shown, the proliferation is a notable risk that the international community should be care about. Next up, uh, the economic financial risk. It cannot be inerted when it comes to the nuclear power. It's well known that the power plants are expensive to build and also it's hot. the operation cost of the nuclear power is kind of high as well. Uh, nowadays, more nuclear, 
nuclear facility are built with the government subsidies uh, to maintain the power plants running and keep them competitive with the other type of energy, uh, with other type of energy. However, the risk of the o of the cost overrun is possible, uh, resulting in the construction delays and uh, that the higher the cost. Here, a graph from the WNA which showed that, that the governments worldwide are started to invest in fossil fuel instead of the nuclear power over the years, since the overruns is kind of frequent. A 2013 uh, UCS report study found that the average cost of a nuclear plants in the United States was $9 billion, more than the double the initial cost estimate. These cost overruns can lead to increased electricity price, uh, making the whole power plant not uh, are not profitable anymore. So, this major risk should be carefully considered uh, by the stakeholders when inf uh, when investigating the possibility of the nuclear power use. Otherwise, it will lead to various unfavorable consequences, like we mentioned above. Next up, here's Sunny to tell about the challenges of using it. Thank you. So let's have a look on the chance. There are two main chances of using nuclear energy. One of the main chances is the management of nuclear waste. Since nuclear power is generated by the nuclear fission, radioactive products will be formed as the byproducts. This nuclear waste should be managed in a suit suitable way as it is highly radioactive. And improper management can result in different damage to both humans and nature. And generally, there are two types of management strategy, which are recycling and direct di disposal. Some types of radioactive products from different nuclear, nuclear fission can be reused to generate extra energy. For example, extracting plutonium or uranium can help produce new fuel rolls used in the conventional reactors. And for some, that cannot be reused. It could be placed in the canister and still with rocks and clay. Because there are no permanent storage solutions nowadays. In addition to the used nuclear fuels, the wastewater is also considered as a waste in nuclear plants. As we know, nuclear fission will emit a massive amount of heat energy, so the used nuclear fuel will have a high temperature. And in order to manage this nuclear waste, is needed to cool it down by adding a huge amount of water. And these produce the wastewater. And about the management of wastewater, take the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant as an example. Recently, the Japan government has started to discharge the wastewater from in the accident in 2011 to the Pacific Ocean. And this may bring a lot of ne negative impacts to the environment, especially to the ocean. By intensifying water pollution and hence affecting the sea creatures. Finally, it may threaten the humans themselves since the water pollution can result in food safety problems. Another chance of using nuclear power is the public awareness. Some people may disagree with the use of nuclear power because of its serious risks and the dangers. In the past, there are three critical accidents have been happened, which is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant accident and the Chernobyl disaster, and also the Three Miles Island accident. These are all very critical accidents due to the use of nuclear power and they were reported to the general public and this provide a negative image or stereotype to people that the nuclear power is dangerous and can lead to a disaster again. 
Therefore, some people may dislike or fear nuclear power. Moreover, as we, just, we have just mentioned, although nuclear power is relatively clean, it can still bring drawbacks to the environment. Apart from water pollution, the radioactive material can be vaporized into steam as well, which leads to the air pollution and the climate change. Also, it will further intensify the water and land pollution by rainfall. Therefore, some environmentalists may not encourage using nuclear power to reduce, reduce the carbon footprint. And according to the UK government's reports, almost a half of participants strongly disagree or disagree with the use of nuclear power. It reflects that nuclear power seems to be a con controversial issue as a result. When the, gov when the government wants to increase the use of nuclear power, there might be a lot of objection or even protests. And this would be one kind of resistance to using nuclear energy. In the following time, let's pass to Simon to talk about the future of nuclear energy. Then we're going to talk about the next part, the nuclear energy for further future. What's next for our energy? You might note that the fundamental currency of the universe is energy. We can do nothing without using energy. So we obtain it from various ways, for example, burning fossil fuels, splitting atoms, or sunlight striking the photovoltaics. But everything has its downside. Burning fossil fuels will release the toxic gas, nuclear power, of course, nuclear waste and not enough batteries to store all solar energy. And other renewable energy also have some negative impacts and limitations you have to consider. But one thing you have to note, the tennis of nuclear power was stopped implanting since 1990s. So it is kind of unfair to say that the nuclear power is not good to use because of the nuclear waste. That is the problem we have, but we haven't tried so hard to try to solve it. Have a look of the advancement history of nuclear power. Now, most of the nuclear reactors are still using the Generation 2 um, technique that is built before 1990s. Only a few of them are using the Generation 3 reactors. As I mentioned, we are still using the tennis from 1990s. So, it is um, not fair to say that uh, nuclear power is not good, it is not safety, it is not reliable, because we haven't tried to study hard of it. Here's the data of the investment on the nuclear power. You can look at the investment the money input on the nuclear power studies is decreasing year by year. So it is kind of hard to have a groundbreaking innovation and invention. But what if we have more money input? We can have a generation 4 reactor, which is more reliable, more efficiency, and more safety. There are six types of them, and that's a good news. China last year has successfully passed the filter test the mountain salt reactor we're going to talk about it in detail foreign reactor that's the reactor china successfully passed and test it has those advantage for example thorium is abundant that means there's a lot of thorium we can use and it is hard to, hard to use for the nuclear weapon. It is two orders of magnitude less powerful than current nuclear reactors. That means, for example, if I have one thorium, then it can produce the same size of the uh, uranium like this. And the, moreover, the nuclear waste might only be dangerous for a few hundred years comparing to a thousand years using uranium. So it is much more safety and the, uh, the nuclear waste is uh, really not a big deal, right? 
Here is the energy potential ratio of different energy. You can see that the boron, one uranium 200, cold, very large, 3.5 million. So you can see that boron is really a good energy source. After we talk about the fission, we're going to talk about the fusion. We have a dream of bottling a star. Here is the nuclear fusion. Of course, nuclear fusion is more hard to uh, get and obtain comparing to the nuclear fission, the generation 4 technique, but uh, they are developed simultaneously. Some scientists, did, uh, some scientists do the study of generation 4, some scientists do the study of the nuclear fusion. What's next? Where will be the next energy revolution? In my opinion, we cannot stop the study of nuclear power because nuclear power might be the next generation of energy. Since 1950, after we using coal, the first industrial revolution start, and year by year, we come to here, and we are using nuclear power. Nuclear power might not be the uh, pivotal role of the next generation, but it definitely is a key to the next generation because we need those techniques, right? So the study of nuclear power cannot be stopped. Okay, thanks for the fabulous explanations from my groupmates of the about content. So in conclusion, we have mentioned about three things. The first thing is we have mentioned about the potential risks of using nuclear energy including the accidents and terrorism which refer to the safety of the nuclear plants and also the nuclear proliferation and the economic and financial considerations. And second, we mentioned about the challenges of using nuclear power including the nuclear waste management and people's awareness on nuclear energy. The third thing, we have mentioned about the technology advancements of nuclear energy and the importance of advancing the technology. So indeed, due to these risks and challenges, it's truly understandable for the society to be concerned about using the nuclear energy. However, is it suitable for people to demonize nuclear energy and deny its advantages? Rather than that, the instant reactions we should take are to face up to the risks and challenges and try to deal with them. So, to better develop the nuclear energy industry, we recommend the government to invest more funds in investigating new technologies and reinforcing the publicity and education. So with this, the risks and challenges of using nuclear energy can be lowered. So for the safety risks, in fact, nuclear plants are generally safe. The severe nuclear disasters which happened in the past history were majorly due to improper safe procedures and the unadvanced technology used in the designs of the nuclear plants. So with more advanced technology, we can have safer designs such as a more firm containment structure which will increase the safety of the nuclear plants. With better education, the government can cultivate more talents on the nuclear energy who clearly make instant and proper reactions while accidents happen so we can mitigate the effects of the nuclear accidents and prevent disasters. So for the economic and financial risks, although the cost of using nuclear energy is really huge, this is only a short-term investment. In the long term, investing more Funds in technology advancement of nuclear energy may develop re reactors with higher efficiency or even maybe we can invest nuclear fusion which is a much larger economic benefit compared with the investment. Also, for the nuclear waste challenge, the nuclear plants can be invented due to technological advancement to have less waste. Also, with better education, it allows normal citizens to basically understand the brief information about how nuclear energy works and enhance the effectiveness of people supervising the government. 
so to deter the government from recklessly cheating the waste and therefore we can prevent from polluting the environment or affecting people's health. And for the public awareness challenge, advanced technology can increase the safety of using the nuclear energy. Better publicity of the pros and cons of the nuclear energy can also allow people to clearly understand the safeness of nuclear plants so we can prevent from excessive awareness and strong repulsion from the public. So thank you for your patient listening.